On sailing Catalpa, we cross the Gulf of Carpentaria and arrive at Bremer Island, just outside of Gove. After anchoring in Gove Harbour, we go ashore to meet up with some family and then head out to the close by island for a swim and a look around. Check out a shipwreck that instantly makes us feel a bit sad. I wonder whose dream this was and imagine losing it. The kids and Lee enjoyed looking at what was left, but it was also a little bit eerie. I just got myself deteriorated in just 12 months. So that was a bit funny. We just nearly got shipwrecked ourselves on the uh, going and looking at a shipwreck. The tide was dropping super quick. There are so many wrecks in and out of the water at Gove Harbour. The next day it was time to see some of the inland parts of Armand Land. The local people to Gove or Nullumboy are the Yulnul people. Our family has a special connect connection with this family. It was after us telling them about our journey that we were on, we learned of the Makassans, fishermen from southern Indonesia that used to trade with the Yulnul people many, many years ago. There was so much history between the Indonesians and Chinese to this land that I had no idea about. Australian history that didn't make it into the schools where we only learned that Captain Cook discovered Australia. So it was interesting learning this part of history. But it makes sense, right? Indonesia is so close. Why wouldn't they trade? The people and this land is beautiful. Thank you guys for taking the time to share your story with us. It was a real joy to meet you all.
Harbour is a yachty friendly place with a safe place to leave your tender and there's big bins to get rid of your rubbish, laundry and a boat club with massive meals. We are going to the Yirrkala Aboriginal Art Centre, so about seven kilometres out of Gove. Is that right? I just saw a sign that said that. Uh, seven kilometres seven. from our exit off the main way. It's, I don't know, maybe yeah. 15 k's. 15 k's. We're about 700 kilometres from Darwin, if that makes more sense. But we're going to see some Aboriginal artwork. So that should be good. If we can film, we will film. Otherwise, we'll just tell you all about it afterwards. We enjoyed our short time here and after a few days it was time to stock up at the local supermarket that was reasonably priced. Buying alcohol here though you have to have a license which we didn't have so Lee had to ha make do with the beers that we had on board. nautical miles to Darwin and it should take us three or four days hopefully we had a nice day in Gove we, um, we didn't do too much but we saw a few things and was was nice so one more stop in Australia till we leave Australian waters head on to Indonesia. There's a gap between the mainland and an island. 
swollen and it's not very thin. I mean, it's very thick. We don't want to go through it in the dark, so we're going to anchor tonight. It's not very wide, not thick. Wide. It's not very wide. And it's shallow, and we don't actually have a, uh, a depth sounder at the moment. It's not working, so we're going to wait till tomorrow morning and go through with the right tide and with the right with some sun up. So it's going to get around this corner today, and we're going to anchor. And that's it. And then tomorrow we will start our passage, 420 nautical miles to Darwin. This is the crack in the wall, the section of water between mainland Australia and the Wessel Islands. It seems relatively straightforward. You start on one side and you go through with the tide to the other side and then continue on to Darwin. Well, you'd think it was. I get over there, maybe I'll turn. 
Titanic. So join us next time to see how we get out of the most stressful and scary situation we have ever had on Catalpa so far. Thanks for watching. It all comes all thanks to you all. All thanks to y'all.